Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode one of Habits of Influence podcast. My name is Magdalena Hanna, and my co-host... I'm Ian Manheimer. And we are going to be coming to you every week to chat about um, our entrepreneurial journey, which is combined for over 36 years of experience. Uh, we're going to be talking about life. We're going to be helping you out essentially on your journey and talking about how to create a movement, um, how to become the person that your audience essentially wants to follow, uh, but doing it in the right way. But most importantly, we are going to be discussing things that are usually not discussed, which is the good, the bad and the ugly side of entrepreneurship. Um, we are very happy to have you here and I hope that you will be with us every single week. Uh, so yeah, today, Ian, uh, it can go one of two ways actually. It's the first episode. Um, it is a very important subject. This is a subject that nobody actually undertakes. Okay, we are talking about the glory, we are talking about the accolades, but we never seem to talk about the journey, about the struggle. Sometimes you can hear a little bit about it, uh, but mainly it's about presenting this uh, romanticized version of entrepreneurship, um, you know, just the just the wins, just the bank statements, you know, or whatever people choose to show. Um, do you think that a podcast like that would be something that our audience could actually use? Absolutely. And I think you hit on a really touchy subject, which is so many people come out with this oh, look at where I'm at, look at these millions of dollars, look at my boat, my mansion, my fancy cars, but they don't talk about the struggle of getting there. And we put this almost glorified perception on what it's like, like and we put this, oh, I wish I had that status. I wish I was at this position, but they don't talk about that struggle. So many people have had to overcome so much to get to where they are. And that's what I think what you're referring to in the good, the bad, and the ugly is we're going to discuss the ugly. We're going to discuss the sleepless nights, the all the stuff that it takes to get from where you are now to where you want to be. Yeah, and it is a journey. It is quite a journey. I mean, you know, it is one of the most uplifting, beautiful experiences being in business, isn't it? But at the same time, it does have those crap moments where um, everything goes downhill and the challenges sometimes seem like, um, they are impossible to overcome. And I think this is very important to also um, touch upon those things because uh, I can see a lot of people coming to me in my practice, for example, um, just not being aware, comparing themselves to people who are already very high up on the journey and thinking um, that that is the only side of it. Like I said, romanticizing the whole journey as opposed to uh, just taking it as it is. And I don't think uh, this is good for people's mental well-being. Is you know we need to talk about the reality of things. So uh, I think you know having this podcast is something uh, that is going to allow us to be on a journey with the people. Hopefully, this is my intention at least. And, and I would agree. And you touched on two really great points. One is the comparison. And we should never compare ourselves to somebody else because their journey is different from our journey. Their story is different from our story. Their habits are different from our habits. And that's kind of what we're going to start focusing on is what are our habits? What is a habit? What is influence? How does that affect us? And all those, all those other factors that play into being successful. And you also brought up the fact of, um, I don't know how to put it, but almost that fear of failure or feeling stuck and wanting to just give up. And it's, it's really easy to do because sometimes life just punches us in the face. And there's only so many punches we can take before we want to throw in that towel. So being able to come up with a strategy and way that we can work through some of those struggles, um, those hurdles, get over those obstacles and turn those obstacles into stepping stones and coming up with ways in which to do that, I think is going to be really helpful to our audience. Absolutely, absolutely. And having that support, even, you know, that, that friendly, uh, friendly face or a shoulder or even, you know, a voice uh, that speaks to you telling you that, yeah, I've been there. I'm, I'm on the journey as well. You know, I've got you. Um, let's let's go there together because we're on a journey, regardless of how far we go. We're still on a journey. And, um, you know, that's one of the bad sides of being an entrepreneur is being really really lonely so um having that support and and having that you know helping hand that you can listen to or you can go on that journey with is it's a it's a great tool that might help you you know overcome those challenges because there are always challenges on our journey and it's, it's so funny that you bring that up and based on your and mine conversations in the past 
we're both very similar. We're both very strong. We're both very independent. And I'm going to say even a little bit on the stubborn side to where <laughs> we, we feel and we believe we can do it all ourselves and we shouldn't need to ask for help. And asking for help was a sign of weakness. And what I've learned along this journey, and it's taken me a long time to get to this point, and I still struggle with this, is learning to ask for help, learning to seek out mentorship of people who are where I want to be. Not where I am now or not where I was in the past, but where I want to be and getting the guts to say, can I ask you a question? Can you help me with this? And not being ashamed or afraid that I don't know everything. Because that to me is where the power really comes in. That's where we're going to have that exponential growth is when we realize we don't know it all and that's okay. We don't <laughs> have to be perfect. We don't have to know it all. It's just saying, I may not know it, but how do I get the resources I need or how can I figure this out? And being humble enough to say, I'm not perfect and I need help and allowing somebody to help us. And that's where we're getting into the whole subject of influence really, because um, I know that, and I'm going to ask you in a second to, to kind of tell me you have found the actual definition of influence, but in my opinion, influence is being perceived in a very wrong way. Um, this is an essentially good, um, good thing. Being influential is a good trait. Uh, having the ability to actually influence others is great. Unfortunately, it has been used many, many times for evil <laughs> and uh, not so good. Um, not so good actions right so what is being influential according to the official definition well influence in, in general it says the capacity to have an effect on the character development or behavior of someone or something right right and again it can go one of two ways right you can influence somebody to do the good uh you can influence somebody to be uplifted to be inspired or you can influence somebody to um just do bad things. You know, there's so many influencers on the internet right now, or people who call themselves influencers. And I, in my personal opinion, it is just my personal opinion. It has nothing to actually do with influence. Influence is allowing someone to go for a transformation and um, it goes in stages, but it's not just the act of showing up for others uh, without the preparation. It does actually require certain skills. Yeah, I would agree. And, and especially in today's day and age, especially with the last couple of years, everything that's going on, so much focus is on the media and social media and Facebook and Twitter and Instagram and all these different social media channels. And yet we're using filters and we're doing all this stuff and presenting almost this false image, yeah. which we'll get into later on down the road. And it's just, it's <laughs> one of those things where that influence, we start to believe we have to be a certain way, or we have to look a certain way, or we have to behave a certain way. And like we said earlier, it's not about comparing ourselves to somebody else. It's about finding what's right for us and what's, what aligns with our core values and who we want to be and how we want to show up in this world as a powerful person. And we all have that ability. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I agree. And it's just, <laughs> it's just, yeah, as you mentioned, we are going to talk about, you know, the TikToks of the world, but um Everybody seems to want to be influential nowadays, but it, it's not so easy, right? Like I said, it requires certain skills um, in order to be able to help somebody or influence somebody, uh, which in my understanding is helping them transform into being a better person. Uh, you need to not only you know, show up uh, and look pretty, but you actually have to uh, have the knowledge on, on what you're going to influence people on. Uh, you need to have the skills and the expertise around that. Uh, but you also have to have the understanding of what you're doing. And that comes with a whole lot of responsibility, which I believe is not necessarily talked about too much. And, you know, why don't you touch on a moment? Because I know this, the idea of habits of influence was your idea of you want to create a podcast focused on this. Why don't you share what was the inspiration? What makes you want to share this with people? Yeah, precisely. Um, <laughs> uh, one of the reasons is apparently everybody loves to hear me rant about business, but um, <laughs> regardless of that, uh, I, I was on that journey. I'm still on that journey. I, I am currently on my third business and this has been one of the loneliest journeys that I had to take. And uh, you know, we all have our struggles, we all have our baggage, we all have our experiences in life, but I, in my life, this is the only thing that I really 
let, let me call it this was my biggest dream it was always to become uh you know the uh captain of my ship to just steer my boat and and to, to be in business essentially since i was a little girl this was the only and ultimate goal uh, that i wanted to achieve um and you know first of all for women it's, it's not as easy second of all um in the beginning it's not like you're getting a lot of support um there's lots of doors that are closing in your face uh you know you're knocking on a lot of windows people are ignoring you and you know that for a fact because you have been on that journey for a very very long time and because before people start actually noticing you and paying attention to what you have to say um it is a long long and painful journey and the reason why I wanted to start this podcast is to make it that little bit easier to people who are starting out in business and and are thinking they are supposed to do certain things. Um, and I just would like to, you know, get rid of that myth that there are, <clears throat> of course, yes, there are steps, um, but there is an easy way and you don't have to struggle and you don't have to um, look at others and kind of mimic them, um, you know, uh, step by step of what they are doing. You can actually be yourself and achieve the success that you want. And, and that's, there are certain things you want to mimic, right? You want to mimic the things that are going to help you be successful. Absolutely. You want to learn from those things. And it's funny, you mentioned the doors shutting in the face. And I can think of so many times throughout my life where I've had those doors shut me shut in the face. And for a long time, it, it really defeated me. I went through a lot of stuff in my history with, you know, I went through drugs and alcohol, suicide, depression, you know, low self-esteem, you name it. I, I probably had it. And, you know, learning to battle and overcome those things is so important. And I kind of think of Rocky Balboa, you know, he gets punched in the face, gets punched in the face, keeps getting punched. He's beaten up when he's about to just fall. He's like, hit me again, hit me again. And it's, <laughs> it's like, and, and that's kind of the, the, that was where a big transformation and shift happened for me is like, instead of letting other people put me down or stop me in my tracks, I almost use that as motivation or fuel to my fire to say, okay, the world wants to knock me down. I'm going to stand up stronger and taller. I'm going to be prouder. I'm going to be, I'm going to fight and get ready to go. And that was a huge thing for me is understand that the world is going to kick us. The world is going to knock us down. We just have to get back up, learn from whatever it was that knocked us down and get ready to move forward. And have that support of people who have been through the same journey and understand your journey, because it's not necessarily the case that. Um, people that we love, that we surround ourselves with, are, are necessarily the people who understand it. Um, this is a very specific journey. Uh, let's just make this clear. Uh, and it will require a lot of grit and resolve, right? Um, so there you go. Uh, habits of influence. Habits of influence is everything that will allow you to um, stay strong and to brush yourself up and, uh, you know, just to get up and keep going, like you said, just regardless of the challenges that arise. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, so that's it. You know, that's the reason that's that's why we're doing this. If uh, this is something that you guys would find valuable, we are here for you. We're going to be here every single week. Um, I think that should be the end of this episode, really. And, uh, you know, there's, there's not much more to say, is there? It's, it's just it's just time to talk about things that really matter. And those things are not just about the accolades and not about the overnight successes or uh, it is a lot of sweat, a lot of, lot of tears. It's a lot of, you know, um, nights where you're just not sleeping and trying to figure out things which may not necessarily be so obvious in the very beginning, but it does get better. And uh, we're here to kind of uh, make that a little bit better for you on your journey. Absolutely. And, de and definitely don't let anything discourage you because there's so much beauty to the, having an entrepreneurial lifestyle. And I, I believe that we're going to talk about other things other than just being an entrepreneur, right? We're going to talk about how to balance that, how to create that work-life balance, how to take time for ourselves to really re-energize and rejuvenate because that is going to be what's going to help us be successful. We can get burnt out. And um, can I drop a quote? Is that okay? <laughs> Absolutely. I think so. We can do whatever we want. It's our podcast, right? <laughs> True, true. Um, and, and this is, I, I heard this quote, it was from Jim Quick, and I love it. And I shared it with you yesterday but when we were talking. And it, it's just so powerful. And I think if I was going to leave anybody who is kind of, do I want to pursue this or not? Do I want to follow this podcast or not? Do I want to pursue business, whatever it is? And it's so important about what I talked about balance. And um, the quote was this, it was, people don't get burnt out from doing too much. They get burnt out by not doing enough of things that make them feel alive. 
Yeah. And that really, that to me hit me in the face like a ton of bricks. I was like, wow, that's what it's about. We can burn the candle at all ends, but as long as we take that time to rejuvenate and do those things that uplift us and make us feel good and where we can celebrate who we are as individuals, celebrate our lives, we're going to be successful. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ba -ba -da -ba. <laughs> yeah, I love Jim's, I love Jim's quotes. Uh, and yeah, guys, it's, it's like, you know, of course, we're going to be talking about life. We're going to be talking about business and we are going to be talking about essentially how to become that person who is influential, who is able to um, kind of go through that journey with the grit, with the resolve uh, and with all the habits um, that you need uh, in order to, to not only succeed, but actually live through it a little bit better, a little bit easier, um, a little bit more balanced. So uh, if that's something that you're interested in, I highly encourage you to subscribe to our podcast. And if you want to see our beautiful faces, then um, we also uh, show ourselves up on our Habits of Influence uh, YouTube channel. So I would highly, highly encourage you to subscribe and tap that notification bell so that you can actually um, watch every single episode and not miss it when we, uh, when we post it. So uh, all the links are going to be in the description, guys. Um, hello. <laughs> it's super nice to meet you. Um, to the next time, Magdalena Hanna and... Ian Manheimer. And remember, if you find something valuable, please share it with people. If you know somebody who might benefit from this, introduce them, welcome them, share it with them, because we would love to have more people in part of our group. That's right. All right, guys. See you next time. See you next week.